Hello my dear students my name is professor monika bhale rao from accounting and finance today we are going to learn foundation course 3 subject chapter number 2 that is the chapter name is intermediaries versus non intermediaries so in this chapter we are going to cover the different aspects about the intermediaries what is the meaning of intermediaries what kind of intermediaries are deal in the capital market and the money markets also so there are different kinds of intermediaries so first of all we are going to start with the what is the basic meaning or the definitions of the intermediaries so we will learn or we will study the definition is a financial intermediaries that is refers to an any institutions that act as a middleman between the two parties in order to facilitate and in the financial transactions the financial institutions that are commonly referred to as a financial intermediaries include commercial banks investment banks mutual funds and the pension funds those financial intermediaries are act as a middleman between the issuers and the investors and the corporations for what for decision making regarding the investments and also for the it is beneficial for the corporate to make the decisions for the fund raise in the capital market and also with the help of their marketing skills they are able to raise the funds by the corporate so these are the able to make the smooth functioning between the investors and the issuers and the corporate that is company to make the financial decisions by the investors in the decision making with the different kinds of aspects which are included in the securities so one by one we will have the now what kind of final inter financial intermediaries are playing the role in the capital market so mostly preferably we are going to learn what kind of intermediaries are acting in the capital market so the first that is the merchant bankers who are the merchant bankers merchant bankers play a vital role in attracting the public to the capital issues what they are doing they are attracting the people to issue the capital in the capital market or to how they are going to make the advertisement and reaching to the public to attracting the people for the issuing a securities in the market through the different kind of aspects the second number financial intermediaries they are known as a registrar to the issue who are the registrar to the issue these are they are undertake all the activities connected with the new issue management and they are also appointed by the company with the consultation with the merchant bankers who are they they are acting as a connection between the new issue management whenever the company are making the new issue in the market they are helps to makes the all activities regarding with the new issue management and they are appointed with the consultations by the company with the merchant bankers now the third one financial intermediaries in the capital market is known as the bankers third one number is that bankers bankers means any kind of banking institutions they are known as the banking so like any kind of commercial banks who are acting as agents and some as the coordinator bankers also what they are role playing they are role playing as a transfer transmission and safe custody of funds they are doing the giving the full security about their funds about their deposits to their customers so that's why it is also the main important intermediaries in the capital market the fourth one they are having the brokers brokers acts as a intermediaries in purchases and sale of securities in the primary market they helps to purchase and sale of securities in the primary and the secondary market as both in the both market they helps to purchase and sell of the securities by their a different kind of aspects last one they are having the underwriters underwriters also one of the one kind of important financial intermediaries what they are they are who are they they are acting as a or they are undertake a specified number of shares or the debentures offered to the public if the public if the issue is not fully subscribed by the public what does that mean they are the underwriters if a company has issued or company has subscribed the 1000 shares in the market but 
the public has not fully subscribed or the public has not fully purchased that shares for example if the public has only purchased the 900 shares then the remaining 100 shares the guarantee or any kind of responsibility of that 100 shares which is taken by that underwriters so the meaning of underwriters they are doing the duty that is they are agreed to take a specified number of shares or debentures offered to the public if the issues is not fully subscribed by the public if public has not fully subscribed to that kind of all shares then the underwriters will take the full responsibility to make any kind of help to the corporate so these are the five financial intermediaries those who are act as a best role in the capital market there are the merchant bankers registrar to the issue bankers brokers and the underwriters these are the basic meaning or the definitions we have studied now right now we are studying the different kinds of financial intermediaries now the next slide move on to the what are the functions of intermediaries what kind of functions they are playing the first one they are playing that is providing the safe keeping accounting payment mechanism for the resources for example if the financial intermediaries can be the bank we are taking the example of bank so if you are depositing any kind of money as a deposit in the bank then the bank has given the fully responsibility or bank has given the fully guarantee of keeping their all deposits all kind of amount in a proper way so that's why the most important functions of the financial intermediaries is that giving a safe keeping accounting and payment mechanisms for the resources the second one is that diversifying risk diversifying risk is what diversifying risk is nothing but financial intermediaries are diversifying the risk about their investment they are not giving any kind they are not taking any kind of risk regarding with the customers in that way they are diversifying the risk then they are providing the liquidity liquidity what does that mean liquidity meaning that is any kind of thing or any kind of assets can be converted easily into the cash means if you want to take the loan if you want to convert your deposits into the cash if you have converted into the uh, if you want to convert it investment into the cash then it can be easily liquidated it can be easily converted into the cash which is nothing but providing liquidity and the last function is known as the collecting and processing information that is the bank the financial intermediaries is also the collecting and processing the information this one of the most important functions they are playing so the functions of the intermediaries we are making the revisions again that is first one providing safe keeping accounting and payment mechanism for the resources the second one diversifying risk then providing liquidity and fourth one is that collecting and processing information okay the next one now this is the classifications of the financial intermediaries now financial intermediaries is divided into the two part that is banking and non banking under the banking part those who are banking that those who are acting the institutions as a bank they are come under the banking criteria and those who are nothing but nbfcs that is non banking financials corporations these are all under the non banking institutions so the basically financial intermediaries are divided into two parts can it can be the banking financial intermediaries or it can be the non banking financial intermediaries so the first one we are going to start with the banking intermediaries banking intermediaries the first one is that the reserve bank of india rbi which is known as the rbi you can see the logo is there so rbi one of the most important banking intermediaries who act as a intermediaries in the financial transactions in the capital market in the money market or in the primary markets also so the overview or the basic informations about the rbi is that which is known as the reserve bank of india is the central bank of our country 
it is the what it is the central bank of our country rbi it is the central bank of our country next when it is coming to the existence it is coming to the existence in the 1st april 1935 as per the reserve bank of india act 1935 the rbi has come into existence in the 1st april 1935 as per what as per rbi act 1935 and last one when it is going to be a nationalized it is nationalized in 19 49 so this is the basic overview or basic concept about the rbi now for this lectures we are winding up here so next lecture we will start with the functions of rbi till now thank you so much everyone